so today is actually a bank holiday so the Bartlett opened at like 10 a.m which is kind of annoying but i think from this point on i'm just gonna be final drawing so my days are gonna be quite boring you're just gonna see me draw every single day but hopefully something interesting still happens this week three more weeks to go before final submission so let's go This chickpeas juice. Okay. So I'm leaving the Bartlett now. I'm leaving a half an hour later than usual at 6 p.m. And I'm actually thinking that I might just leave a bit later this whole week. I feel like because we're all rushing for the finish line with the final drawings, so I might just add in the extra hours of drawing because now I feel like every hour, every minute counts now because I'm always just doing the final drawings. Um, but we'll see how that goes. I have to head home to cook dinner now. But anyways, I feel like things are just quite intense, obviously now uh, with three weeks remaining and the year twos have their tech submission tomorrow. Um, so just now studio was quite packed. There was a lot of people. And then the year threes are obviously rushing for design. So it is a high stress time right now. So hope everyone's keeping physically and mentally healthy and see you at home. So this is my dinner, some broccoli and cauliflower and some Chinese tomato egg because it's not egg, it's yuba which is tofu skin, so yay! I'm also meal prepping this red lentil dal for tomorrow's meal prep. I love my PB&J overnight oats, so good! So it's currently 9am and I just want to talk about like how I'm feeling for this week after yesterday so I just feel like now everything needs to be super streamlined because every every single second or hour I spent on this drawing is going to count towards the final thing so I'm just trying to like I guess maximize the time I have in studio so I'm trying this new thing right today where I brought in my dinner meal prep my dinner as you saw from last night and I'm just gonna see how that goes uh, I'm not gonna push myself too hard I'm just gonna see if it is possible yeah just try to get in more hours because three weeks really is just no time at all so we'll see how this week goes yeah it's stressful time let's go to work hi guys i'm taking a break uh to get some strawberries for a snack um but i just wanted to share a bit of how i'm feeling right now honestly uh well this morning i actually had a two and a half hour calls with my mom and sister because we're planning a trip over summer um but in terms of how I'm feeling, I'm actually starting to stress out quite a bit because I feel like everything is coming at me all at once and I just have lots of things on my mind with, um, you know, everything going on regarding academic and non-academic, personal life and everything is just coming at me at once and I feel like with the whole pressure of finishing the final drawings, I'm just starting to actually stress out a little bit um, but I'm telling myself it's going to be fine, just take things one at a time and it's gonna be okay um yeah and i mean because there's events upcoming this week as well and with the time planning and organizing i'm just you know a bit stressed um but i think it'll be fine i'll just try my best and see how things go that's all i can do try my best I wish it was going faster but um, just now we did have a careers fair at 4 p.m. and I don't know if it's still going on I think it went up until at least 6 p.m. like for at least two hours but um, I left really early because I just didn't feel like I was in the right mindset to participate in that and like I just like I didn't yeah I wasn't just I wasn't in the right uh, emotional place to do any sort of talking or like you know recruiting stuff with jobs and stuff and 
I just wasn't in a really good mood this today because of some stuff that happened in the morning. Um, but I tell myself it's fine. Um, and I just went back up to do my drawing. And yeah, so now I'm gonna have dinner, chat with some friends, and then hopefully leave around in one and a half hours and then go home. And I also meal prep tomorrow's dinner as lunch as well. Guys, these are all my foods. Lunch, dinner, snack, snack. So let's pack them all. <laughs> So today my job is to render this drawing, so let's go. I guess it is back to work. Yesterday was actually, I think I was just not in a really good mood. I was like tired and sad and I actually cried in the morning because of some personal issues. But hopefully today I'll be back on track. I'm here at Bartlett now. I went to the gym this morning and I feel like today is going to be a really busy and hectic day because, um, well, I'm going to be drawing the drawing and then we have a, a visit to Foster and Partners, their office in London at around 5 p.m. And then I'm also going to be going to this vegan nights event with my friends later. I feel like I'm wasting time, but I'm going to try and enjoy it. So we're here at Foster's for our trip and I'm going with Joy. We're walking next to the riverside. It's so pretty, even though I'm like taking, I'm like I'm slacking off my final drawings, but it's okay. So I'm gonna enjoy the afternoon and evening. So yeah, I'll try to vlog inside if it's possible. So this is the building. See some architecture models there. Oh wow, this is for us. Alright, no photos, be subtle. Oh, okay, so this is kind of scary and weird, but like, their toilet is so nice. <laughs> Anyways, just throw that in. Okay, bye. So, we're going to this event called Vegan Nights with my friends after the tour of Foster. So, let's go. Oh. Hi. Yes, I'm. Hi. Today is tutorial day, so I'm on the way home to eat breakfast in the gym. Um, yesterday was actually a very nice day. After visiting Foster's, you kind of get to know how things work in like this big, you know, famous, well-known firm that's all around the world that's super international. And you can kind of just see, like I was talking to my friend about this, about how it's almost like a chain of generations of people from Bartlett because you have people who are like, seniors and they're like oh I was in your position like 20 something years ago and then they just worked at Foster's for like 25 years um, but it was nice to get an outlook of you know how things work in a big firm and just seeing how proud people are when they work there and the pride and it feels like it's just a whole campus feel um, I don't know if I'm that interested in working there but it was just a really nice um, eye-opener to see how things work um, and then after that the vegan nights event was really nice. I really liked my food. I didn't expect there to be so many people um, I lined up for these 
barbecue vegan ribs that was made out of seitan and it tasted so good even the bao buns and i was really smart because i lined up for the bao buns first for 15 minutes and then i had to wait for them for 15 minutes and then i saw the ribs next to it and i was like okay i'm gonna line up for the ribs so i'll wait for the buns and then i managed to get the ribs right after i lined up for another 15 minutes and then when i went for the bao buns they're ready so I feel like I completely utilized my time so well. And even some people in the line told me when I told them this, they were like, you're so smart, you're going to places. And I was like, yeah. But I just had a really good time with my friends, you know, chatting and stuff. And I'm also happy they enjoyed the food there. So I'm really happy. Even though like, you know, I didn't spend as much time as I would like on the drawing, but it's fine. I'm gonna go back to work today and go to tutorials. Mine's at 9.30, so I'll see you at studio. today because things are just so hectic like I'm so tired I can just fall asleep now like there's just too many things happening at the same time so there's you know like the flat stuff and then money matters traveling um, summer plans and it's just too much going on and I feel like everything's just coming at me and I'm just getting really stressed on top of that with rushing for the final drawings and I feel like I just can't put my mind onto it um, but on the bright side tutorial went very well they really like the drawing I did and I just basically have to keep going but it's just a lot of things happening so I'm just very tired both mentally and physically um, so yeah I'm gonna go get the snack and see you guys later or yeah Good morning everyone. So I thought the Bartlett opened earlier today around 8 something but actually on Saturdays it opens at 9.30 so that's kind of annoying. Um, so I actually spent this morning just editing my portfolio pages because I still need to make a portfolio for this submission. Well what, what, why was that a reason? Um, but anyways, I think I feel a bit better now, like come from yesterday, I did a bit of thinking and I was like, I should cherish the time I have now that I have so much on my plate. And really it's nothing bad. It's just, you know, to make things go smoothly in the future. So I should just really appreciate and cherish the time I have now to do all these things and just have a good time and people around me supporting me. So yeah, and I actually felt kind of bad because I normally on the weekends in the morning I would like be editing my videos but just with the pressure of submission I think I'm gonna put editing to a side so I might just not be uploading at all for the whole of May but hopefully after all of this is over I mean I'm still gonna be vlogging because I feel like this is a valuable like time just for me to look back on and for people to kind of just really see the amount of pressure that Bartlett students face in studio so I will still be vlogging it but hopefully it'll just be edited and uploaded like a few weeks later and hopefully it'll still be just as fine so yeah that's my plan So right now I left studio and I'm going to my sister's place to pick up because she bought some vegan ice cream for me. So I'm gonna go pick it up and try some tonight. So, you know, treat myself. I deserve it. So these are the ice creams. I'm so excited to try them. <gasps> you can see the peanut butter. Mmm, I think I really like this. Mm. So good. On week two, I just continued doing all of my final drawings. Here is my section in action, trying to complete it today. And then later on, I moved on to a new drawing, which is another section with the cells. And here's just me. You can just see the process of me setting up a new drawing. Usually I start with some tracing paper and then I sketch it over to the actual paper and then I will start doing the composition. 
So I'm starting this new drawing of the other part of the section, which is the cells of where the inhabitants are gonna li live. And also, I found these snack peppers that are really awesome. You can just snack on them, they're really crunchy, and I love them. Guys, I made this vegan Korean jajangmyeon, and I'm gonna eat it, and I'm so excited. Hi everyone, so um, I thought I would jump on here and do a little mini mental health update for you guys because I feel like it's been a few hectic days and I haven't, you know, really talked about how I've been feeling but recently, again, I feel like everything's just been really stressful I think it's just I'm dealing with a lot of things going on right now with planning for a potential trip so I've been like, you know, on the phone with my mom almost every day like discussing the logistics and then the flat situation for over the summer and next year possibly subletting and then also with uh, money matters with traveling abroad over summer and then there's also on top of all of that also completing and rushing for the final drawings for the submission so it just seems like so much on my plate and sometimes my brain can't even think straight so i haven't been vlogging as much so yeah i've just been drawing 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 i feel like now i'm trying to optimize my schedule so that i have maximum amount of hours in the studio so i usually work between 8 to 10 hours per day now just working on the drawing non-stop and actually i feel like my speed of doing the pencil drawings are also kind of surprising me if like how fast i'm doing it like for my standards so yeah it's been going quite well i guess and my tutors really like the drawings so it's going well i was also kind of guilt tripping myself yesterday and i feel like i'm putting so much emphasis on the drawing that i'm not hanging out with my friends as much like i'm not putting as much time as i would like on my friends and hanging out with them because obviously i canceled all my hanging out plans and stuff I'm not cancel i just didn't make any plans but i talked to my friends about them and they were like no glory we understand like the drawing now is your priority so obviously after submission then we're all gonna hang out so yeah i'm gonna go to studio and do the drawing now today some broccoli and some gochujang soy curls with some brown rice and I'm so excited to eat my lunch so in case you're interested about my process of drawing I usually do a line drawing first so this one is done actually there's a sketch before the line drawing so I did the sketch and then the line drawing and now I'm gonna render this drawing which means shading let's go You wanna see how hard Ziyan is working? She's <laughs> rendering on two computers for her final views. But it looks so cool. Yeah. Congrats. Oh my god, that looks so crazy. Yeah, that's the grocery shop. The entrance <laughs> of my school. It's so cool. Do you wanna see my plan? Yeah. This is, my plan. This is the plan. Watch on this last week. And then this is the a third of the section. You saw this, right? Mm -hmm. And then this is one by one. Yeah. And then this is the other section I did. And then amazing. Thank you. And then nothing like this before. You. So I'm gonna interview Chris about his experience with leading up to the submission. How are you, Chris? Did you sleep? <laughs> no. Everyone's dead. I haven't seen you in so long, but okay. I hope you get some rest. <laughs> So I'm going out to get a snack now, um, but I just had my second last tutorial with my tutors and we were just discussing like the last few drawings I'm gonna do and what I'm gonna do, you know, like the drawings in the portfolio for the submission. Um, and yeah, and the studio was quite a lot of people. I mean, 
because it's tutorial day. So you can see a lot of the year twos like rendering their stuff because it is the year two's last tutorial um, and they're submitting next Monday. So it's just a lot of people coming in and I haven't seen my friends in quite a while. So it's nice to talk to people and see where they're at and also seeing their renders, which looks super cool. Also, I realized I didn't say this at any point, but I did manage to get a one week extension for my design module just because of, well, some things happened um, a few months back and I do also feel like I needed the extra week to kind of produce the number of drawings that I want to produce. Um, so yeah, that's that. Sadly, my friends are all going to be finishing a week earlier than me. So yeah, I still have two more weeks to go, um, but I'm going to try my best to draw as much as I can. But also I'm going to take sufficient breaks because I do realize that if I just keep pushing myself to draw eight to 10 hours per day, it's not that great. I mean, I took the afternoon off yesterday even though I didn't vlog yesterday, but it was much needed, bought some snacks that I liked, and yeah. Basically, I decided to go get some paper because, well, I needed it and I was just so tired. I don't know why, I'm so tired. And I feel like because I pushed myself too hard the last few days, my body is just begging for me to take a break. So I'm just gonna take a break, you know, um, since I have time anyways. But, um, yeah. So for dinner, I made my some tomato not egg stir fry, which is a very typical Chinese dish with some pak choy and rice. And I'm gonna go watch some videos to chill. So I literally thought the studio would be open at nine on, on a Saturday and it ended up opening at 9.30. So I'm just waiting out here and it's really annoying. So this evening I managed to have some vegan ribs which looks so cool i bought this from this diner in islington and it's a combination of jackfruit and vital wheat gluten so it's really cool i'm pairing that with some brussels sprouts and then i also have some vegan mapo tofu cooking on the stove for some meal prep tomorrow whoa look at how this tears <gasps> this is so good i'm telling you this is so good